Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to pair your Energy Smart Security Kit on your app and how to start using it. So as you can see, this device comes with a camera, one PIR sensor, wireless one, one door contact, and one smoke alarm. You also get a lot of accessories, so if you want to use it uh, to mount it anywhere, that's the best way to use it. It comes uh, for a camera, you can also mount it on a uh, on an adjusting bracket like this. Uh, very simple just go and mount it the way you want and uh, so before you start I would always recommend once you power the camera just reset it they also give you a small pointy object which you can put inside and once you reset it then you will hear the tone that you're hearing right now now you can see an app called UC app on your phone so I'm just going to show you uh, just download the app uh, on your Android or iPhone Play Store so this is how the app looks like you see the blue color app here so just go on that you see app and I will you can see this is how it opens up just a second I have got multiple apps loading so as you can see uh, this is how the screen looks like once you add in uh, once whenever you are registering remember you can register when you start logging in for the first time please you can register with your mobile phone or your email ID Whenever you're using uh, your mobile phone number to register, ensure that you don't put zero. So if your number starts with 074, etc., etc., just start with the number 7. Once you register, then you can log in, then press the top right plus button here. And then in the options that you can see here, select the first option, QR code networking. And you'll be asked to enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Ensure your Wi-Fi is always on 2.4 gig and not on 5 gig. And also ensure there are no firewalls. Then just aim this device to the screen. So you can see the camera is aiming towards. I can hear the sound and it will generate a QR code. So this QR code needs to be aimed at the camera lens. And you can hear the sound, a beep sound, which means the camera is ready to is already paired so you can see a ding dong was heard so press on that and we can check in a few seconds how the camera is ready to be used it can take up to one to two minutes so please be patient till the time it gets ready Yes, so as you can see, you can name the device. So I will put it like my, uh, let's say, house. I can select a predefined menu. So let's say, sometimes the screen does not work. I think it's because it's being ready right now. It's always to do with the apps that you have on your phone. If you've got a number of apps, it can take a bit of time. Just start it again so that it's easy. First, it's already paired because last time I did act, add it to device, so I'm just going to go and open that device. So as you can see, the camera is facing upwards. I can move it wherever I want to this. Can go down. Can go up. On the right. You can also speak two way as well on this one. Hello, can you hear me? It's a two-way audio. If you want to hear something, hello. hello. So you can press the speaker button on here. You can also go and alarm the camera, which means it's got its own PIR sensor. So I can go to the alarm, and the alarm is activated. So if I go, anybody comes in front of it, it will alarm. Maybe the siren I've kept off, so you can clear a lot of um, 
things on this you can preset it if you put an SD card you can also use a playback you can go into settings here uh, you can see uh, alarm settings here so alarm settings uh, you can see I have a receive alarm prompt is off so if I keep it on here and buzzer I've also have kept it off so if I keep it on here let's say uh, for one minute and the motion detection if I keep it on here that means the alarm is set now so if I come out here and now if I keep the alarm and if anyone comes, so alarm just goes off on this one so I'm gonna switch it so I switch off the alarm from here so now you can see uh, that it's very very simple uh, it also gives you the alert message here so close this voice alert confirm now if you go into the settings again you can also go again to the alarm settings and add sensor so if you want to add your PIR sensor you can switch it on you can see the light is blinking here if it's not that means that yeah you can see the red light blinking so I'm gonna press first one common sensor when I press the plus here just gonna try to add this when the light is blinking add it successfully that means the PR sensor is already added you can name this sensor as well so you can say let's say corridor so yep this is how it is so now if the PR triggers that means alarm can again go off at the time so again I'll, uh, I'll go to my sensors again alarm settings I've switched it off the sensors that's why it's giving that kind of thing so alarm sensors this is already on here so again you can add your door sensor and your smoke alarm also in the same particular way as simple as that so now if I for example if I go outside and say alarm here and if anybody comes in front of this PIR it will normally give you a same trigger so I'm gonna switch off I'll switch off the alarm again so same way you can add your door sensor door sensor comes with the batteries as well that's about it as simple as that a lot of features you can edit the videos once you put an SD card inside the uh, camera there's a space for putting an SD card here on the back uh, on the right side here so that's where you can put your SD card that's about it from me thank you very much if you need any more instructions you can go through the manual it has got all the details instruction once again the app name is UC on the instruction manual you may see an app called NRJ in red I can red color but that's not the app please use only UC app for this thank you